Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my January 2020 bullet journal setup. And so here I've sectioned off my pages, one for 2020 goals, and the other isn't gonna be a quote page. So the 2020 goals page, I just wanted to keep it super simple. I wanted a place that I could collectively gather my goals as they come to mine. I never wanted to really have them all set up <laughs> as soon as the year starts. I kind of figured them out as I go along. So I just wanted a simple page that I could write them all down I'm just giving it a title page and that's it it's gonna be super simple so here I'm doing the backdrop for my quote page I wanted a night sky kind of like the quote words were written in the sky um, I wanted an ethereal backdrop and I loved the purple sky I thought it was really like beautiful and it kind of give you this like magical almost like anything is possible vibe that's what I was going for So here you can see the quote that I chose and I'm just going to take that and which I got from inspirationalquotes.com. I'll leave a link for that down below and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to cut out each individual word so that it looks like the words are written in the sky. I kind of wanted it to feel, it kind of sounds like a random reference, but like a ransom note <laughs> where you take out the, cut out the words out the page and kind of position them so that they look kind of scrapbooky. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's what I had in my head and I actually really like the way that it turned out. So the quote I chose is, I want to see what happens if I don't give up. Because oftentimes I start things in the beginning of the year and I am like any other normal person. Sometimes I follow through, sometimes I don't. But I just want to see what happens with like life if I don't give up this year. If I take responsibility for everything that I want to happen in my life and I really put forth the effort, I feel like great things could happen. So that's the quote I chose. And so now I'm just arranging them on the page, seeing what I like. And once I get them the way that I like them, I'm gluing them all down. So there you see I'm adding some stars. I realized the page was a little too simple, so I wanted to add some star stickers that I had to incorporate the stars from the other page. And while still keeping it simple and I really like the way it turned out. So now here I'm working on my January title page. I again wanted to keep it almost like a scrapbook and not have everything be too matchy matchy but still within the same color scheme. So there you see I have three pieces of scrap and then I took some images that I printed out and I'll link those down below as well. And I wanted a kind of a mountain ethereal night sky theme. I'm not sure but I really love the way that it turned out. It felt very cozy and like anything is possible vibe. I don't know. It just was really beautiful. But yeah, so I'm taking all of those scraps and I'm going to glue them down. Okay, now that those are glued down, I'm going to take this image of a girl with hair that I really liked. I liked that her hair formed the mountains and she was in the night sky. It's a beautiful picture. And I'm going to glue it down, which you saw, and then I'm going to take my pen. You can take any black pen that you would like. Um, I'll link the one I'm using down below and you're going to outline the lines that are already there It m makes a world of difference. It makes the drawing pop off the page and you can see there. I'm just Really defining her hair. I define the mountains the night sky. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a lengthy process But it is so worth it. It just makes the page look so more Beautiful and it makes the drawing pop see the difference is like night and day so now I'm just going to glue the other ones down that I had and repeat the same pen process.
Now I'm gluing down my January mini calendar and I'm also gonna take my stickers and see where I want that January sticker to go. I like the horizontal way because it really helped to round out the top of those of those scrapbook papers because they were so square and it kind of helped to enclose the uh, title page so they felt more rounded off at the top. Um, and then I'm using my whiteout to mark off any pin marks that I've uh, created on these pages. Well, that was a really great way to fix mistakes in your bullet journal. There's also a couple of other ways. And I can actually do an entire video showing you how to fix mistakes in your bullet journal if you're interested. Um, so just let me know in the comments below. So now I'm taking that same marker uh, pen. This is my Tombow Fudenosuke pen, brush pen. And I'm just edging out the border for my important dates calendar. I really like this way of doing your monthly calendar just because I am not a person who likes to write in boxes. I feel like it's just really stifling and I always feel guilty if I don't fill them all in. And so this is just a really great way to keep track of any important dates you may have, but also not have to write out boxes like boxes after boxes after boxes every month. I think it's just a really simple way to keep track of your monthly calendar. And also along with important dates you can write out any goals or tasks you may have for the month and keep track of them this way as well so I'm using washi tape I had this night sky washi tape that I really liked and I thought it tied in really well to the other pages so I am using that to create the border that separates the goals and the task washi tape is another really great way to add interest into your bullet journal without using markers or paints I really love the way that this washi tape looks So now I'm just going to write out all the dates. So now I'm taking that same brush pen and I'm going to make these little trees at the top to match the little trees in the images. So here you see I'm marking off some of the important dates that I have in January. As well as some of my goals and tasks so well, like for instance one of the goals I have is to make four journals this week and a task that I have is cleaning my apartment so that would be how I would use this spread so the next spread is my self-care check-in spread I've actually never used this spread before but I wanted to incorporate it for the beginning of the year because instead of my mood tracker to kind of see if maybe this would work a little bit better I always find I never finish mood trackers but I'm just gonna try this out and if I end up not liking it I will move back to my mood tracker next month so the way that this works is you would self check in every day and you would write down either how you feel emotionally, physically, or spiritually. You would need to do every single one for every single day. You can switch up. So if you're feeling more emotional one day or more physical one day, maybe you got a really good workout in or more spiritual, maybe you went to church or you meditated, um, that would be something that you would document. So yeah, I really love this spread, the idea of it at least. I'm hoping that I get a lot of use out of it, um, but if not, it's okay. At least I tried it. I actually ended up changing the way that this page kind of looks, so you'll see that shortly. I didn't like the moon star thing that I had going on at top. I also felt like I gave myself a little bit too much, much space to write, and I really wanted to incorporate some of those cutouts from the previous page to kind of keep the theme going. This is okay, it just wasn't something that I really felt like really spoke to me. <laughs> I know I use that a lot, but um, in my mind it looked good when I did it, but once I started doing it I was like, this is not cute, this is not the look. So yeah, I changed it, which you'll see shortly, but you know, we all make mistakes, so I didn't want to take it out completely. I wanted to show you guys how I fix mistakes 
in my bullet journal. So here I'm drawing out my habit trackers and you basically make a box for each individual ha uh, habit for the month and then you keep track of them, color them in as you track each individual habit. It's really easy. I like this method instead of the calendars um, just because I find it's really satisfying to see all the boxes colored in and I actually end up making too many boxes but it's okay I ended up putting a cutout over the two boxes that I didn't use to kind of keep that theme going and there you see I'm trying to use my Posca pen to mark off the the excess lines and I ended up just going in with old-fashioned whiteout you honestly cannot go wrong with a little bit of old-fashioned whiteout I like this brush so now I'm playing around with those cutouts and this is when I really realized I should have used the cutouts in my original design for my self check-in page so in a moment you'll see that I basically rip out a page from the back of my Lorstrom notebook and I've glued it down to line up with the edges of the original page and you can even see the original design underneath and now I'm just gluing down the cutouts that I've actually want to use and I'm going to use that same pen method to make the cutouts pop and honestly if you're not feeling something in your bullet journal that's totally fine just start all over it's nothing wrong with that just admitting that you don't like something so here I'm taking my pen and I'm going to start to make this drawing pop. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the top cutout. So now I'm taking that purple pen that I was using originally and I'm rewriting the emotional physical and spiritual categories on my self check-in and kind of using the boxes that I had previously as a guide to see kind of where I want to place them so that I give them enough space and I really like the way that this one turned out as opposed to the original I just feel like it was a lot more simpler and it kind of incorporated and tied in the theme better in my opinion So I actually <laughs> made a mistake because I was letting the whiteout dry on check because I don't know how I missed the C. But now I'm taking my purple pen while that dries and I'm going to start creating the stars that kind of connect from each page 
to kind of give it a little bit more cohesiveness. I was waiting for a little, the whiteout to dry and I was going to do this at the end, but since I had to wait anyways, I thought I would just start now. And I love the way that the stars kind of start in the beginning and it follows this pattern so that your eye kind of has something to follow from page to page that really ties in the design. And honestly, this added a lot of flow and movement to the pages, which I really liked. So now I'm gonna finish writing and check in, and that's it. This page is done. I love it. It's so simple. So now I'm just using that same pen to doodle and really make the drawing pop. Then once that's done, I'm gonna use my purple pen to make those same stars. Now I'm writing out all of my habits and Honestly, I don't know what was wrong with me this day. Like, I could not spell for the life of me. So you just constantly see me making, like, spelling errors and correcting them. But that's okay. That's what we have white out. That's all you have, like, paint markers for. Drank water. I don't even know. I was just, I was so tired by the end of this. And I just wanted to get it done because... So I'm writing all my habits. Um, I really wanted to track eating healthy, drinking water, flossing, journaling. Um, I really wanted to make sure that I was journaling every day. And I thought if I make it a habit track, I have to track, then it would be something that uh, I would be more conscious of. I also wanted to track no spending because I'm trying to save money, work out, and my writing. So this is when I realized I actually had two additional boxes that I wasn't going to use. So I ended up putting something down there to cover it, but I did not film that, so just use your imagination. But it was actually kind of cute at the end. So this is my weekly spread. Um, I wanted to incorporate the mountains from the other pages, so I drew a collection of different mountains, and I'm using those as my header for each day. So here I'm just outlining them, um, doing that doodle process as I've done throughout this entire video. And the way that I like to set up my weekly spreads are, I don't like the traditional boxes. Like I said, I'm not a big boxes person. I don't know why boxes just feel really stifling to me, but I wanted to still have a place that I could set aside certain goals for each day. And then I like to have a timeline for that day that indicates kind of like what I would do at like 6 a.m. or 10 p.m., etc. You get the idea. So on that Monday, for instance, I have three um, goals that I want to complete. And then there you see to the right of it the timeline for that day. And my Monday was wasn't as busy as my Tuesday. My Tuesday is always jam-packed because I'm actually off uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and then I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So my midweek is usually really jam-packed, but my weekends are also too, but they're more free-flowing, so they're not as restrictive. So there I'm doing, gonna just do the same exact thing for this spread. It's really simple, but I like the way that it turned out. And then once I'm done making all the headers, I incorporate that star pattern that you saw throughout the rest of the pages.
So here I'm actually setting up my meal prep spread. I do meal preps. I really like meal planning for the week. I only do it for four days of the week, so it's really manageable. And now I'm just looking back at my reference for my last weekly meal uh, spread. So I'm counting out the boxes. I do six boxes down for each box. And then I believe it's like five across. Um, just figure out what works best for you um, based off your journal. Um, and then I like to separate my snacks from the rest of my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and then I put down a little box down there for what I need to buy and what I already have. So it's a really simple spread, nothing too complicated, easily doable. And then I also have an AM shake that I like to drink, so I'm making an additional box for that. Or So I have to eat five times a day, so what I typically do is I eat prefix in the morning, and then I have a protein shake midway through the day, and then I have a lunch, and then I have dinner. So that is the way that my <laughs> meals work. So. Uh, and it just works really best for me. I find that if I don't have my protein shake every day, I'm starving by the time dinner rolls around and I'm unable to make good, healthy choices throughout my day. So here I'm writing my header, which is really simple. It just says weekly meal plan. And I'm fixing my mistakes with my paint pen that you saw there. And now I'm going to write out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because of the day I work. I don't meal prep for the weekends. But I ended up not liking the way I wrote that, so I tried to erase it with my pen, but it just wasn't working. So I ended up coloring it in with um, that purple color and then writing over that. And it was cute. It worked. Once those boxes are all filled in, I'm just taking the same blue pen, bluish purple pen that I've been using, and I'm writing out the headers. I wrote out what I have and what I need, and there's my shopping list for the week. And I'm gonna take that same purple pen and purple blue pen and do those stars that I've been doing to kind of keep the theme going and to incorporate it. And that's it. Um, super simple, super effective. I really like this spread and the other spreads in my setup. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, and now this is just a little flip through to give you a glimpse of all the pages. I really love the way that it turned out. It's super neat, super clean. And uh, if you guys have any suggestion on future themes that you would like me to do, please don't forget to comment them down below. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I will be uploading weekly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay happy and healthy. Until next time. Bye.